All right, I got that uh, number 50, the Morse Taper 4 adapter in the motorized workhead here. I decided that's a good place for it. I can use it to uh, uh, grind between centers and, uh, and even motorized by uh, using uh, homemade grinding dogs sort of like this. They don't have to be heavy. I can use this one just by bending it so it'll uh, contact an ear. I have been using this in it in the uh, grinding between centers by grinding a center in the lathe chuck on the other end. But this is just a better way to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and grind this in. And uh, I'll get the motor head running here. Or the work head. It's running out about, uh, I got adapters in there, cheap adapter, and that's a beat up center. I don't know where it come from. Uh, I got it uh, adapted down to uh, more taper too. I'll put a little ink on it so we can see. Something a lot like that, huh? Just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna go around to the other side. So I can see it a little bit better and operate the controls. Start that wheel head. And turn that thing through. Getting pretty close. <laughs> Angle looks good, just gonna chew it up now. You wanna feed really easy on one of these machines. It's really easy to grab the wheel and the uh, um, first one. So you just wanna really be gentle and uh, no feed in more than a thousand for a little, little horsepower machine. That's the best one thousand up there. Yeah. Okay, give me another foul. I kind of listen to the wheel head itself if it's starting to bog down. It, it's really best to uh, keep everything kind of uh, free running without bogging with your grinder. You can have a little bit of patience, I think. So. Oh. <laughs> the waves are a little sticky and I felt it jump a little bit. That's about 2,000. And uh, since it did that, I'm going to go ahead and back it off and run this thing back quite a bit. and then bring it back, kind of get a little bit more oil. Uh, it's feeling a lot better now. So I bring it back. It's feeling like it's steaming. I don't know, really, I shouldn't have that kind of jump. Still running out a little bit there. Here we are. A few of the foul. Good 
this is a, a pretty coarse uh, red, probably 50 or 60 uh, Norton Seated Gel uh, in a softer gray. And it grinds really cool. Oh, it's just looking really, really nice now. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let it spark out. Yeah, you can do some uh, substantial cylindrical grinding in the tool and cutter grinder, but you have to go slow. You can't take uh, very big bites at all like you can with a dedicated cylindrical grinder with uh, five horsepower or something. And uh, 14 inch wheels. Let's see what we got here. That is just looking dandy. Oh, very good. Okay. Got a really true center there. Can't ask for anything better. Okay. I will be back with more grinding, I'm sure. Have a good one.